Kyler, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I, I can only imagine what's running through your head right, right now. What things that you're thinking about? Uh, there's a there's a lot going through my head. Um, I'd be lying to you if I said there wasn't. I think any 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 senior in the entire country would say the same thing. Um, there's a lot of you know things being said, um, possible outcomes of of our football season, our last our last football season, um, and you know it's easy, um, you know, and I'm, I'm I've eliminated myself from some from um, for the past week. Like I haven't since camp started. I haven't been still hearing about all these things um, on TV and all these things things and a lot to process you know and I've been trying my best to to not let it be a distraction and really focus on what I can control um and that's that's what I've been trying to to that that's the message that I've been been giving to all my teammates as well and uh, you know my other you know teammates that are seniors um you know all we can do is focus on on right now and where we're at and right now we're playing football and we're practicing and running and do the best we can be our best every single day. Um, and then whatever happens, happens. And, um, you know, we'll, if, if it does go south, we'll, we'll deal with it according and be ready. Uh, regarding is, this team's going to be ready no matter what. Um, it's just a matter of when and when we're ready and be ready um, whenever that time comes. <clears throat> 12 earlier pushed uh, to move their football schedule into the spring. What would be your thoughts on playing football in the spring? Uh, be something different, um, something new, but play. I get to play. That, that's all. That's all I want to do. I just want to play football. Um, whenever that time may be, um, spring, next fall, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, but I just, I just want to get the ball on my hands and go. Gone. That's all this is. Um, that's all that worries me is I just, I just want to play football. Whenever that time is, um, whenever that's, you know. Obviously, I want everybody to be safe. You know, I, I'm not being oblivious to, to what's going on and whatnot. But at the end of the day, uh, just I think speaking for everybody, it would just be nice to have some answers and for things not to just keep getting over meeting next week. And, like, there's just so many things of uncertainty every single day and how things can change in 24 hours that it just is on, on a player. And... um you know, I think if we were to just get some answers, you know, we'd be able to process with what, what that would look like, whether if that's what we'd want or not. And, you know, for me, um, I, I wouldn't be opposed to playing in the spring or playing in the winter or whatever. Just give me a football and let's go play. Let's go play. That's all I want to do. Thank you. Mitchell. Hey, Skylar, hope you've been doing well. Um, what level, so of course you guys had the outbreak back in, in June and coach Kleiman said that was a blessing that it had happened then as opposed to maybe later on now, but still a pandemic loom, right? Full of fear is there on the team that it could be something that impacts the team again. Um, you know, I, th I think it, uh, just realistically speaking, in June, we figured out how fast this virus can spread, you know. Um, and I think that is something to be noted and be aware of. wouldn't say it's necessarily that we're scared or fearful of it. Um, it's more so of like, you know, this, this is something that we're really going to have to be cognizant of and not take lightly, um, if that makes sense. And you know, that starts with all of us just wearing our masks and our nose, um, taking all the, the precautions that our medical staff has been. Um, and, our, you know, our coaches have done a great job of, of you know, making a social distance, uh, wearing masks in meeting rooms. And um, we're doing all the right things. And that's, that's all we can do. Um, and I think by us doing that, it, does, it takes the fear away from it um, quite a bit just because we are doing the right things. Um, and that, that, that's all we can do. If, uh, if something were to outbreak, you know, we'll, 
us wearing our masks and doing the proper protocols that we're told to do the contact tracing it's going to limit people getting um you know put in quarantine and those types of things so that's super super vital that um we understand and follow that which we've been doing and we need to do that and i think that'll take some of the fear out of it so with the amount of amount of time that it's been lost um, for preparing for the season. Um, and there was a time period where you guys weren't even allowed on campus in the weight rooms. Um, how much of an impact has that time lost on the team's Um, You know, honestly, I wouldn't say a lot. I wouldn't say a lot. I think um, as far as just, just in the past four days of, of practice, you can tell um, or five days that, uh, you know, guys are a little rusty, you know, a little rusty, you know, you can tell that we haven't been in, in pads for, for eight or nine months, um, including myself, as far as just like, you know, I haven't thrown, thrown a football with shoulder pads on for, for 10 months, but I've been training and throwing tons during quarantine and everything. So it, it, throwing without them to where now I'm, I'm trying to get um, a little bit more um, resistance up there. But I think our whole team um, as a whole is, is in the best, you know, shape as far as our camaraderie and, and continuity. I feel like we have a lot of good, a lot of good stuff going on and, and um, we're really close and we're doing a lot of great things in the winter, you know, just requiring all of our meals and sitting down and eating together. Um, before all this COVID stuff hit that we made a lot of progress and guys got to, you know, know and, and create a relationship with guys that, you know, maybe they haven't really had in the, in the past. And I think that just, you know, even as simple as just eating a meal together, you find out some, you know, something about somebody that you didn't know beforehand and that just instantly makes you um, more closer to them. So um, I think that, you know, we've, we've had a lot of, a lot of throughout this COVID stuff, um, you know, we created a team group chat that we basically talked through throughout quarantine. Um, and, you know, we got on Zoom. We did a whole bunch of different things just to try to continue to build those relationships and keep that stuff going, even through the midst of all that um, time away. Karen? <clears throat> hey, Skyler. Hey. Hey, how are you? Hey, you and I have talked before about this, but, you know, Coach was talking about how we're right now, especially with these younger guys, you know, you ask us all the time and saw what happened in the outbreak in June. So do you feel out of this, you've really helped this team as a leader kind of, you know, gear towards you guys positive tests and doing everything you need to do to be ready in case there is a season that starts. You feel pretty happy and comfortable with the way you've evolved in that leadership role. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I truly, uh, I've, I believe I've done everything I could can do up to this point. Um, and it's, it's, this has been a challenging, challenging time uh, to be, to be in a leadership position because there's so much uncertainty. Um, there's even, you know, even I don't know what's going on. So I, I can't sit here and, you know, a younger guy asked me, you know, Skylar, what's going on? What do you know? I, I don't know. Um, and and that, that's, that's hard um, for me. Uh, I wish I had answers. I wish I could, you know, tell people what's going on and, and help, help the younger guys out that's trying to figure things out right now. Um, but you know, I've truly, I've just been, uh, you know, trying to just in, embrace all of this and truly just focus on what I can control and how I show up every single day. I, I, yesterday, I, I let a lot of, I let a lot of outside talk and rumors kind of affect my day. Like I, at the end of the day, I got home, um, was laying in bed. and was just thinking about my day, which I, I a lot. And, you know, I, I, I didn't, you know, I, I allowed a lot of outside voices um, take away from the way I showed up at practice and 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 led uh, my team yesterday and um, you know I had I have the honest self self assessment and I think that's what um, really has 
has impacted my leadership is having that self assess assessment and my growth as as a leader of of being able to realize that and admit that and you know I I'm gonna be better today you know like I'm not gonna allow that stuff to happen and that that's what people have to realize like us as young men as leaders like we're not superheroes you know? we don't have capes on our back um, there's times where we go through things um, we face adversity. And no matter what you see on social media, you know, I, it, you know, social media is, is our highlight reel. And, you know, that, that, those are all the, the positives that's going on in our life. And, but at the end of the day, that's not who we are. And we go through and what we face on a daily basis. And, um, you know, this, this has been a challenging time for me as well. But um, through my faith and, um, you know, past experiences, you know, it's prepared me for times like this and to, to remain um, locked in on what's important um, and how to handle the things to the best of my ability. And like I said, I'm not perfect. But, um, you know, I, I, I'll be, be dang to, to let one day uh, take away from, uh, you know, t today, you know, let yesterday dictate how I show up. To, um, and, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm having fun. It's been so fun to compete with uh you know my teammates there's guys flying around you can tell we're having fun and competing and this guy's john there's people playing for it. it's cool it's good to see justin hughes out there even though he talks just a little too much um i do have a lot of fun competing against him man and i missed it uh so you know that, that that's what we got to keep doing we just got to keep focusing on those things and me one of the leaders on the team i'm going to keep keep um you know enforcing you know positive positive messages just keep enforce positive it's the best thing you could do because you you speak negative thoughts whether it's to yourself or to someone else um that stuff is so contagious and it spreads like wildfire you know so we just got to remain positive um, um just keep spreading that love with one another and just and be there for one another and we do that where whenever the time comes that we strap it up and get to play uh, we'll, we'll be ready for it and there'll be nothing stopping us because you know if we get through these you know tough times they they really um they shape people into to who they want to be um and it'll either and make you know and i've been, been telling our guys that this this time is going to going to make us a great team because there's not going to be a lot more uh challenging situations that we're going to be put through so that's been my message to everybody. I'm ready to strap it up and go out there. Good, inspiring words. But, um, <laughs> were some bothering you just hearing about other calm down? Was that kind of just part of what was weighing on you? Yeah, 100%. You know, and I think being a senior, um, it, it's just scary. It's scary getting my last year taken away or getting moved and this being um, anything but normal you know, and that, that has been heavily on my, my heart and my mind for the past four hours, seeing that this has, you know, gotten, you know, the big 10 canceled. And I think the PAC 12 just canceled and moved to the spring. So, um, you know, this isn't, isn't a joke. And that's what I was kind of just stating earlier, how like, you know, of us across the country as student athletes get viewed as superheroes, but, there, you know, we, we go through it too. Um, and this is heavy on ours too. And um, not trying to be, sound selfish or anything. This is our, this is our life. You know, this is, this is a big, big part of my life. Um, and I've, I'm, we have invested so much time into this. Um, I mean, during corn, you know, waking up and working out in my basement and staying in a routine, I was doing everything I can, everything I could have done to keep myself ready for, my senior year and getting to play and get an opportunity to play. Um, and the fact that that is up in the air of this is going to happen is hard to process. Um, and it, and it is, it puts a lot of weight on your, like I said, that's where my faith comes in, comes into play. And um, I know this, this whole situation is out of my hands and, um, and that, that has given me peace. And like I, like I'm invincible and, you know, I'm numb to everything. Like, no, I, I feel it. I, I feel the wet that that little bit of scarcity inside of me, but at the same time, I know, I know, and I trust in that, and I know whenever the time comes that I'm going to be ready for it, and it's going to be the perfect timing. 
Thanks, Skyler. Great job. All right, we'll go two more, more here. And then John Kurtz, go ahead, Ryan. Oh. Oh. Hey, Skyler, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Hey, uh, so I guess, I mean, I kind of had two questions, but Ryan, for your sake, I'll, I'll limit it to one. Uh, I guess, you know, the fact that you guys did not have spring ball, what was the thing that you feel like you personally missed out on the most? Like, what were your goals for the spring that since you guys didn't get out there, what do you feel like you missed? Um, you know, I think just uh, for me, the spring is such a great time for, a, you know, an experienced player that is an experience that played the full season before because just like you said, you can really assess season and, Hey, this is this. These are 15 practices that I can focus on these things to get better at. And even though we didn't have spring ball, and I got better at those, on is just having live bullets flying at me. You know, like one of the biggest things for me was in, in improving in my my presence and being able to step up in the pocket and um being able to progress through my threes um and a lot different i'm at home getting beanbag beanbags thrown at me compared to why hubert and khalid duke coming at me front <laughs> and a lot bigger and a lot a lot faster <laughs> uh to say the least but um just the live bullets and throwing routes on air you know it's and and, and to work on your timing and and do all those things, but um, when they're getting pressed up, up and playing, times that time it can be dictated and be altered a little bit. Um, and and also seeing coverages, you can sit there and I can sit there and throw routes on air all day and be hundred for hundred. Uh, that, but that's just not realistic because um, guys drop it in the cover and windows and all that type of stuff. So I feel like that's most. Um, I would say just missing those those lives flying, um, and uh, yeah, I feel like that's that's the biggest. One. Last one here, John Kurtz. Yes, Skyler, Just from a practice standpoint, following all the protocol, how much trickier does that make a practice? How much more difficult is it as opposed to last year, or earlier years in your career? Yeah, I would say the. <clears throat> I would say the, the um, isn't as different because we have face shields on. We have gaiters up over our face whenever we don't have a helmet on to where you don't really – we don't have to be as uh, aspect of things. Um, but I think the – the biggest difference for me is just like what and what you know makes it just hard is you know I feel like leadership and being a great teammate is a contact sport it's a contact thing um and loving up on on your guys and being a leader like man like you gotta you gotta love up on your teammates and and that, that involves contact you know you know, hugging each other after a touchdown or, you know, getting each other's face and celebrate, you know, like that stuff is this, that stuff that is, is part of the game. And that's stuff that I do all the time. And I think the, the biggest difference for me is having to think like, oh, I can't do that, you know, beforehand or trying to be aware of, um, you know, those types of things after, you know, Noah Johnson's get up and screaming in my face after we score a touchdown, I have a big play. Um, things uh, that we have to admit and not do, um, I think, and just just have that thought and in our head is 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 hard. Uh, um, but and then just the um, the ability to breathe, <laughs> the ability to breathe is a is obviously a challenge, um, and that's going to take time. You know, us just getting used to that, but. You know, there you you do catch yourself where the air is really really stagnant inside of your helmet, and you know you can't lift it up. 
um, to really catch a breath. Um, and so that, 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 that makes it difficult, but, um, you know, as far as the practice setup and organization of it, it it's, it's been ran, um, the same. It's just like the, the little, the physical challenges, I would say that, that are the hardest that just have to be cognizant and, and, and think practice.